We replaced the failed French drain system. We brought the pipe back because we can use it as a sleeve. What that means, if I'm putting in a piece of say four inch corrugated pipe and it's gonna be driven over top of repeatedly, I'll use PVC for its mighty, mighty crush rating to put corrugated pipe through. But I won't use this pipe as a French drain and here's why. So there's three holes. This pipe has three lines of holes. Here you can see them right here. Center, one off center, another line off center. What happens is when sediment ends up in this pipe, see, so we have a line of holes basically here, here, and here. That's what you're looking at. When you end up with sediment in the bottom of this pipe, and especially if you're one of those anti no fabric guys, you're done. As soon as there's sediment in the bottom of this pipe and those holes can't take in water, this big, bad six inch French drain system is done. So we like corrugated pipe because it has holes all the way around it, 360 degrees. It can take water in all around the pipe. We also like using a non-woven geotextile filter fabric that happens to be double punched so that we don't have sediment in our pipe, period. We also don't believe in putting our pipe on a bed of stone because that bed of stone just holds water and tree roots and shrubs are gonna sniff that out and iron auk is gonna grow in it. Anyways, we're doing a little bit of a series just back to the basics. So let's get started with our next segment of that series. One of the misconceptions about corrugated pipe is how it works. I tell people, look, it's self-cleaning. It builds up pounds per square inch. People don't really get that. They want to believe it clogs, the friction's cut down because it's not smooth on the inside. Corrugated pipe does not restrict the flow of water. As you can see, the six inch pipe, it's moving the water. Now it's white water, it's not this clear stream because it's not smooth. The ridges and valleys cause an agitation. It suspends all the sediment. Once you suspend all the sediments and debris, it just washes right out of the pipe. So that's why in an active French drain system, you're gonna keep a clean pipe with corrugated pipe. Now, the PVC system that we're ripping out, the sediment just slowly built up in the bottom of the pipe. It doesn't have this agitation, this turbulence, you know, this violent white water that suspends all the uh, sediments and debris that somehow get into a system we use a really good filter fabric and we wrap our system so we tend not to get very much debris in but some sediment will find its way and it'll just through this agitation it'll just get suspended and washed right out you're going to push any sediment shingle gravel debris you're gonna push that right through any corrugated pipe, no matter how you use it. That's why I crack up when guys pour a glass of water down a piece of corrugated pipe like they're doing something. That doesn't mean a thing, especially in a solid piece of corrugated pipe, because you're not worried about attracting tree roots. You're not worried about any other thing like that. We move all the bulk water with our drainage systems. And then once the drought season comes, our drainage systems dry up. They dry right up. Any roots that tried to get in them, if the drainage system's built to not hold water, you're not going to have root. They're not going to survive. If they made it there during the wet season, they're not going to survive during the drought. That's just impossible. They dry up, they're dust in the wind. They need that water for their very survival. But that pounds per square inch, that's what removes shingle gravel and debris. I always recommend putting more downspouts on one pipe so do like two or three drops into one pipe now you're you're building up more pressure more pounds per square inch you're moving just more water you're going to be flushing any debris that comes off your rooftop now here we have a pipe that's smooth with three holes on the bottom so everybody's census on this is there's nothing better than a six inch french drain you have three holes on the bottom you have a smooth interior. Well, the problem is you got to put 
stone underneath this pipe. Right away, what did we just do? We preach, put your fabric in, put your pipe on the fabric, then put your stone in. We do not preach, put stone first. What that does, you leave a bed of stone to hold water. That pipe can't get rid of that water that's in that bed of stone under it. So now we've already set our system up for failure because a tree is gonna sniff out that water and it's gonna fill that stone bed underneath that pipe full of roots. The other thing, when you always have a wet trench, you're gonna build things up like iron oak. That'll take a drainage system out. Dry your system up and you will not build up any iron oak. You won't have any clogs. So when people say corrugated pipe failed, it's because the installer failed, not the pipe. This pipe by design, you have to put stone underneath it. Otherwise you're putting the holes, the only holes the pipe has, right down on the dirt. Unlike corrugated pipe, PVC pipe does not have holes 360 degrees all the way around. The only holes it has are on the bottom. Once they plug full of sediment, roots, anything, iron oak, this whole system's done. Everything that we preach on this channel, use a good soil separator, a really good four ounce to eight ounce filter fabric, a non-woven geotextile filter fabric. We like to have ours punched. We actually buy punched fabric and then we punch it ourselves a second time. We take care of that in-house. That's our MO, we're known for this. We want to up the flow rating on what's already a proven product. When you have a DOT certified and approved fabric, it's not going to deteriorate. That's the problem with these thin fabrics that guys tell you to use. They just biodegrade and break down. They're junk in no time. So we like to use a four ounce in high flow applications and an eight ounce in low flow applications. The eight ounce obviously is a heavier fabric. It's gonna last lifetimes, generations, but a minimum of a four ounce non-woven geotextile filter fabric that's double punched is what's required to separate the soil from the drainage stone. Now I know that it would just seem like common sense that the mud mixes into the stone without fabric. A lot of guys will encourage you to use these real thin, it's usually white in color, the ones I've seen, they're really thin. They'll decompose within a year or two. They're so thin, they'll biodegrade very fast. You want a fabric that's gonna last many, many years. A good four ounce fabric will do that. It has a high flow rating. If you want something to last lifetimes, you got a legacy piece of property and you wanna leave it to a family member, then use the eight ounce. The eight ounce is gonna be around for lifetimes, plural. So that's my advice on that. Building any French drain without a good filter fabric, you already gave your French drain system an expiration date right at the time of install. That's the problem with that. All right, everybody, until the next video.